Good morning. Welcome to the Roths Weekly Gulf of Mexico update for the week of August 30th, 2022. Uh, we got Labor Day coming up uh, Monday. This is Labor Day weekend. Busy time here. Um, last, uh, last of the, the big tournaments uh, coming up in the Gulf of Mexico and we're here to give you an, an overall view of current ocean conditions. It's been a, a, a lot of clouds in, in the western Gulf, uh, a lot of clouds up here um, day in day out. Uh, it's either been, been clear in the morning or clear in the afternoon past few days in the northeastern Gulf. Uh, this is a this is a combination image of ocean color chlorophyll from this past weekend uh, to get rid of the clouds uh, for the most part still have some white here white here and here which are clouds but uh, pretty clear for the most part so you can see uh, overall what's going on um, a few little changes this week the main circulation of the loop current has started to push back north uh, up towards the, the area southwest of Tampa um, this loop current eddy had had been in this whole area here for for two, three, four weeks, uh, has compressed a little bit, is a little smaller. It's now centered uh, south of the dump site, southeast of Green Canyon. It remains to be seen uh, if it's going to totally reconnect to, to the loop current and, and you're going to have a large loop current sort of pushed up here to the northwest. Um, Got to wait, watch and see the next week or two. You have a large counterclockwise rotating eddy in here that's helping the loop current water come up here, get pulled into the eddy. Um, to be 100% honest, based on what's going on with the conditions uh, here in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, as you can see from this image, you still have a lot of green water, an eddy here counterclockwise coming out south of the double nipple, around this eddy, north of Atwater Valley, northwest of Lloyd's Ridge. Um, and then you have this green water coming out of the delta that's that's going east of Lloyd's Ridge, all the way down west of the box and the steps off of Tampa, and all the way down uh, along the northeastern edge of the loop current towards the area south of the Florida Keys. Um, this pattern has been, been going on since this eddy's been in here for, for well over a month now. With this eddy being in here, the loop current down uh, to the south, and, and it, it was all the way down here, uh, probably about 60 miles south of where it is currently. It's it's pushed up in the past week to 10 days. Um, with this pattern going on, you you got this continuous stream of green water coming out. It's sort of disconnected from the Florida middle grounds up northwest. Uh, you you have all clean green and just a lot of green water in here. I mean, if you look here, here's the unexploded ordinance. Here's the nipple. Here's the spur. Uh, here's the steps. That's all green water up uh, inshore, DeSoto Canyon. When you get out deeper, DeSoto Canyon, uh, double nipple area southwest of the steps, you do have some cleaner water and some color changes and some temperature breaks to fish, but um, still have, you know, conditions do not look the greatest in the Northeastern Gulf. Um, to be honest, uh, like I said, if this eddy, if this loop current system were to, were to reconnect, uh, and this eddy were to slide up, historically that would push this eddy back to the east um, as this slides up. And um, it, if it pushes it back to the east, that, that will probably be the best for the conditions. If, if this moves up, the loop current reconnects, and this starts to get pushed off to the east and the northeast, that's going to fill this blue water in. It'll, it'll start moving over double nipple south of the Soto Canyon, but then you also you also have the opportunity for eddies forming in here and pulling some of the blue water off of off of the northeastern sides of, of the loop current system and back up into DeSoto Canyon, the Spur, and, and all of these areas. Uh, hasn't happened yet. It could happen, and, and honestly, that's that's probably the best case scenario uh, for fishing into, into September and early October in the northeastern Gulf. Moving west, um, you still have these two large counterclockwise eddies. Uh, one northwest of Green Canyon, uh, one further over towards Bright Bank, Geyer Bank, uh, southeast of Flower Gardens. Um, you do have, which, which you can see, this uh, blue-green 
water getting pulled around the southern side of it. You do have a large counterclockwise rotating eddy uh, centered here off southeast of Aransas. Uh, this eddy is, is pushing some nice blue water in over the ledges uh, east of Nueces Dome, east of Colt 45, uh, east of Texas Canyon. Um, there, there is a lot of a lot of blended, uh, very similar now to the northeastern Gulf. There is a lot of blended water inshore of 100 fathoms. Um, you do have a nice a nice finger filament uh, of blend of blue with some pockets pockets of blue with blended blue water moving southwestward uh, inshore over about 30 to 50 fathoms. Good bottom area, Aransas, Aransas Bank, Hospital Rock. Um, all the way down inshore at Texas Canyon due to this other counterclockwise rotating eddy here. Um, but the main edges are going to be uh, offshore of 100 fathoms uh, where this counterclockwise eddy is pushing blue water in a favorable direction. Um, there are good conditions. I mean, there's, there's, there's cleaner water to the west than there is to the east. There are some color changes. To the east where it goes green the cleaner green and are going to provide some some chances for action still looks best south of the delta along the edges of this blue water and along the edges of the eddy uh, between let's say between mississippi canyon and the dump site over towards green canyon uh, pushing towards that water valley and towards lord's ridge far offshore um, you do still have some nice pockets of cleaner blue water in towards the steps off of tampa and then in about 20 to 30 to 40 fathoms southwest of Tampa down to the Dry Tortugas. Um, you do have some nice pockets of cleaner water here. Um, but, but really what we're watching now is to see what happens with this large eddy in the west and what happens in the east with the position of the loop current, this large counterclockwise eddy here, and uh, what's going to happen with the uh, clockwise circulation of the loop current eddy. Um, that's about it for this week. Um, quick this week um, we're, we're getting busy with uh, Labor Day coming up on Monday a lot of people fishing uh, good luck to our clients fishing the um, tournaments in the Gulf uh, end of the season this weekend um, if you want to order get your orders in now please um, early for the weekend uh, phones and and we'll be busier towards the end of the week um, you could always call the office and order 321 723-5759. Um, if you don't want to do that, if you want to order through your account, if you already have an account set up, or if you want to set up a new one, you could always order on our website 24-7 at www.rofs.com. Um, congratulations to all our winners. Um, we did well in last weekend's Mid-Atlantic Tournament up in the Northeastern U.S. Um, keep an eye out for, for a story on that in, the news, in our newsletter tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media on uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, at Ross Fishing. Um, that's about it for this week. We'll come at you again next week. It'll, it'll more than likely be Tuesday again. Uh, Ross is closed this coming Monday um, in observation of Labor Day. We'll be back open Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, have a safe and happy Labor Day holiday weekend, and we will talk to you again next week. Thank you.